Hey everybody, my name is Ace Fangirl, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Last time, we uh, we hung out with Kaito, which was great, and then we, I think we defused the fight in the dining hall last time where Ryoma, who I'm gonna call Ryota like so many times, probably. I noticed it in one of the past episodes, I don't think it was the last one. Um, offered to like sacrifice himself to let us kill him, and we were all like, nah dude, we good. Um, and he was like, okay, cool. And that was that fight defused. And also Rantaro ran off and was like, I have a plan, and then didn't tell anyone what the plan was, which is remarkably similar to what we were doing, because we had acted our plan, which was like, put, put all of the cameras in the library, and then maybe we'll find out who the mastermind is when they go and op operate the secret room. So I guess we're just gonna go hang out in that classroom for like, five hours. <laughs> Do we get free time with Shuichi at least while we do that? God, I hope so. Okay. There's still some time left. Do you want to go see anybody? No. No? Well, I'm, clearly I wasn't asked because the answer would have been yes. I'd rather focus on the plan. Besides, I'm sure everyone else is safe. That's like code for someone's dead. Who have we not seen today? A lot of people, honestly. Plus, once we get out of here, I'll have all the time in the world to see them! This is telegraphing so hard that someone's dead. You're right. That's true. Well, let's go to the classroom. Someone's gonna be dead in there. I'm expecting today to be the day. Today, I mean, well, today kinda has to be the- and by today I mean this episode. Has to be the day where someone dies because we're running out of time. And, you know, we're not gonna just let this go. So, is there anybody around? It doesn't look like it. Okay, well, someone's gonna be dead in here, probs. I'm ready. Oh, no? No one's dead in here? Okay, never mind. The desks are back. Who put them back? <laughs> Alright, now we wait. Now we just hang out here forever. Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. My heart felt like it would beat out of my chest at any moment. Then. Let's keep the door open a little so we can see anyone going to the basement. Uh, yeah. Uh, um... Uh, Kaede, about the security sensor receiver? Hey! Could you hold on to it, please? I just feel like you'd be better suited for that than me. That's a weird thing to say. Uh, there's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. I will proceed to immediately do that. No. No, you hold on to it, Shuichi. You do it. It's your idea. If it messes up, it's on you. You're the one who came up with the plan, and I trust you. Um... Which is probably a mistake, but whatever. Also, Shuichi, I love you. You just said I'm better than you at something. Why do you say things like that anyway? Huh? You met me, like, two days ago. What? You know? I guess it's good that we have some time left, because I wanted to talk to you about that. You have such low self-esteem. Get it together. Uh, um... Talk to me? Oh, I guess we're gonna talk to him, but before we do that... <laughs> getting any coins. Uh, maybe, maybe this is a waste. Okay, well, you know what? I've already started. We have to do that. My frantic tapping is absolutely going to pick up my mind. But that's okay. Bam! Get this out of here. We don't need these. We, we need lots of room to enact our plan. I don't know why. Wow, not a single one. What are the rules on this? Can I only hit things like twice in a chapter before they don't give coins anymore? Because I'm pretty sure things have given coins twice. Anyways, sorry, what? You know? It's probably none of my business, but I think you should be more confident. I was really kidding, but that's where we're going with this. Right? Someone did point out to me how she is, like, different from the other two protagonists, from Hajime and Makoto, because she is so confident and they're not confident, like, at all. And I'm like, that's a good point. So she just thinks everyone should be confident, and that's nice. Especially since the ultimate initiative said that selected you as the ultimate detective. No. No, really, I, I shouldn't be the ultimate detective. There already is a really cool one. I'm not even a real detective. Huh? What do you mean? I'm... I didn't even really want to be a detective. Oh, I don't like this music. It's called Moon on the Water, which is creepy. My uncle runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out as an apprentice. It was usually just cheating couples, background checks. Babe, I hung out with you once. Like, we talked about this. But... But one day I came across a murder case completely by chance. Oh, okay, we didn't talk about this. 
Uh, um... I solved it before the police did. They called me the boy detective. That's when- to, to, to separate me from the other ultimate detective, who is in fact female. That's when I got scouted by the ultimate initiative, though I only solved one case. Huh? Even so, it's still amazing that you solved a murder case. Most people can't do that. No. I wonder. I wonder if uh, it was a really a good thing that I solved that case. Oh. The look on his face when we caught him. I can still see it even now. Well, he was a murderer, right? He stared at me like he hated me more than anything else in the world. The crazy eyes. It was Nagito. Did you catch Nagito? Later, I heard that he murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. All right, real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust the music real fast. Sorry, I know this is not the time to do that, but it's, it's a little loud for me. I just want to turn the music down one. Yeah, okay. Okay, sorry, anyways. People told me the culprit was right to do what he did. No. The victim deserved it. No. But I led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. You can't think like that. <laughs> As someone who trains no, trained true. in law. It's not like you took sides, you uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, right? And lawyers sometimes. You're right. Yeah, I uncovered the truth, which makes it my fault, and I'm still suffering the consequences. I'm... Ever since that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget those eyes, the hatred, the way they stared into me. Well, he's in jail now, so... Uh, um... Anyway, that's why I have trouble looking people in the eye sometimes. So that's why he wears that hat. I'm... I'm not a real detective, Kaide. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? Right then, I noticed Shuichi's hands were trembling. Oh, babe, no, it's okay. I gently reached out and held his hand. <gasps> oh, CG. Aww. Kaede. They're so cute. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. Is that how you pronounce that? Is it really Debussy? I always thought I thought it was just Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms Weird. your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. Oh, like the name of the song that was playing just now. I like Cardinal Moon's good song. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. No, oh. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. Cute. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. He's so gonna die. He is so gonna die. It's not even funny. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. In before he dies. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Oh, that's Okay, nice. I'll try. Oh, look at him looking up. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Yep, that's a promise. And then he was brutally murdered. Probs. After letting go to go of his hand, I quickly changed the subject. Yeah, that's right. Also, I think you would look way cooler if you didn't wear that hat. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? What? I'm serious here. Once we're out of here, I want you to show me what you look like without the hat, okay? Aww. Jeez, I just want to see everyone smile. You know? I love seeing the expressions people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play piano, to see the smile on everyone's faces. Mm-hmm. And that's why we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. It's so dumb, I hate it. Right? So we can smile with everyone else. Okay, great. Awesome. After our serious talk, we talked about this and that to kill some time. We did all we could and prepared for whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course. But all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive. As the time limit drew closer and closer. And then suddenly, the moment arrived. Oh my god. Oh my god, who is it? <gasps> I like that the desks are still gone. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, this is fun. 
Huh? What is this weird music? Is it coming from that monitor? Is this the body discovery announcement? Could it be? Maybe it's a warning that we need to start killing. The time limit's almost up. jeez. Oh, Maybe stop screwing with us. How much suffering do they want from us? Oh. Wait, Kaede. I hear people talking in the hallway. Huh? People talking? Oh man, who is it? This is an annoying song. I focus my attention on the hallway. I can hear a group of boys and girls talking. I try my best to listen while I peer through the gap of the classroom door. Okay, now I'm actually gonna- I'm gonna actually- I don't know if it's just this song- oh! Oh my god, there's so many of them! Okay, wait, actually, hold on, I'm gonna turn the music back on. I lied, I want it back. I don't know if it's just this song being muted. But, it's okay. Okay, so that's Gonta, Maki, Tanko, Angie, I'm trying to still learn everyone's names, Rantaro, and, uh, Himiko. Is that her name? I think so. I forgot, I haven't talked to her that much, actually. Kaito, Gonta, Oh, Maki, I nailed it. Oh, well, I- Tanko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro, too? Is it really pronounced Rantaro? <laughs> I'm gonna keep calling him Rantaro. The seven continued to walk down the stairs. The seven. Why? What's a big group like that planning to do? Rantaro's with them too. Didn't he say he would end this game? Okay, that's weird. If they go into the library and, and mess up our stuff, that's gonna be really unfortunate. Mm. It's almost nighttime, right? If they're all headed to the basement right now. Could the mastermind be with them too? Kaito, Gonza, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro. One of them is the mastermind? Well, now I'm sure that one of them is not the mastermind. <laughs> No. It is unusual for such a big group to all go to the basement. N no. They're not planning on going to the library, are they? That would be bad. They'll scare off the mastermind from using the bookcase and ruin the plan. Huh? What? All right. I'm going to check out the basement. Oh, this here he goes. He's going to go die. Uh, I'll come with you. No. No, you stay and keep watch, Kaede. All right, he's going to die. Everyone say goodbye to Shuichi. Goodbye. Bye, I love you. With that, Shuichi dashed out of the classroom. Uh, and then we never, never saw him again. Why am I all alone now? Realizing I was alone, the fear and anxiety I was trying to hide rushed back into me. I'd close the door, honestly. I'd hide in here. jeez. Uh, You've already seen a huge group of people, so... I couldn't keep still, so I grabbed the broom from the corner of the closet. Yeah, okay, if anyone comes, I'll fight them off. I started cleaning for no reason at all. Okay, never mind, that wasn't what I thought. I had to move my body, the anxiety was getting to me. It's been 13 minutes and no one's died. Shuichi, please come back already. He's not gonna. I continue to distract myself with cleaning until Shuichi finally came back. Oh, I was not dead. Hey. Hmm. Kaede, why are you sweeping? Huh? Oh, oh, no reason. Anyway, what about the people down in the basement? Uh, okay. Everything's okay. They all went to the game room. Game room? Why there? Uh oh. Dong, dong. In one hour, everyone dies! I liked the other ones better. I thought the other one had a higher production value. Hmm. There's only one hour until the time limit. Uh, yeah, it's almost time. That's true. I'm sure the mastermind will make their move soon. If Monokuma's gonna show up when time runs out, the mastermind will go to the library. Then it happens so suddenly. Oh, oh there it is! Ah! My heart nearly leapt out of my chest as the receiver in Shuichi's hand suddenly went off. Shuichi, the receiver! That's it. Someone move the bookcase! Hurry, Kaede! Shuichi sprinted out of the classroom with the determination of a true ultimate detective. Uh, wait for me! I thought the entire ass point was that we were taking pictures of them. And... Okay, well, I don't know. I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Shuichi. I guess th this would probably be the next phase of the plan, because we want to catch them in the act, but... And the pictures are just for evidence, but um, that, you know, to me, leaves a good chance that we could die. I could feel my heart beating faster and faster. I was so nervous, my hand fe my head felt like it was pounding- my hand? <laughs> my head felt like it was pounding with every heartbeat. And then there was gonna be somebody dead. Right? Hi. Hey, how's it going? All right. This is so stressful. This music is stressful as hell. Kylie, let's go inside. Yeah. 
Okay. Bracing myself to confront the mastermind, I balled my hands into fists without realizing it. It'll be fine. Everything will work out. No one's gonna be dead in here. I was still convincing myself when I caught up with Shuichi, who had his hand on the door. What are you guys doing here? Oh, hey guys! Got it. Well, never mind. Your timing's perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Right. Kaede is definitely welcome to join. Not that other asshole. Huh? Strategy meeting? Yeah. When the time limit hits, we're gonna fight Monokuma. We got a plan for that battle. Wait, when did you get down here? You were not with that other group of people who were coming down. Unless we just, I mean, I didn't see him with a group of seven people. And we clearly either missed the mastermind go down or the mastermind is one of those group of seven people. So the fact that I didn't see you is a little suspicious. Gonna have to remember that. We thought it'd be harder for Monokuma to get to the basement, so we're going to the game room. Hey. Hold on, both of you come with us. The mastermind is in the library. Oh, great. Now if there's a dead body in here, I'm gonna look suspicious as hell. Uh. Mastermind? Okay. We'll explain later, but right now we need you to come with us. We might really be able to end this killing game. Are you serious? What he said. Sneak attack! I don't really understand, but you just need me to Aikido throw whoever's inside, right? Alright! No, I'll do it. I'll be the one to take them down. Ah, uh, jeez. This isn't a competition. I'm gonna open the door right now, okay? Dead body. Who haven't we seen today? It could be Ryoma, just because that would be fitting. With the unveiling of the mastermind so close at hand, all of my anxiety had disappeared. I stepped inside the library. Who is it? Oh shit! They're closing it! They closed it! They're in there! As I walked in, I noticed the moving bookcase at the end of the room was slowly closing. But there was no sign of the mastermind. The moving bookcase had closed on its own without any outside help. Hmm. Where is the mastermind? But did they see the moving bookcase? Because we quickly walked toward the moving bookcase. Okay, but we're going to waste all our film. And then, not too far from the moving bookcase, we saw a dead-ass body. Yup. Oh, shot put. That's why that was important. <gasps> what? Oh, no! Wait, he's first? Oh, shit. Oh, I liked him! He was in competition for boyfriend, but I guess this is how you get taken out of that, huh? Rancho Mommy, who had yet to reveal his ultimate talent to the rest of us. It whoops, I apparently pushed that button too fast, but I think it said lay dead on the ground or some shit. Alright, that- I did not expect that. I did not expect that. Of all the people I thought was gonna be first, I did not think it was gonna be him. I thought he was gonna make it to the end. Cause, cause he had, he has, you know, he had the plot hook. The amnesia plot hook. I thought that would give him plot armor. What in the world? What the hell is going on? Were you trying to fuck with our camera? Right after Tanko screamed, the front door of the library burst open. And the four people who were in the game room rushed in. That'd be everyone. What happened? Go to hear scream. Huh? Ah! Blood, so much blood. See, Kaito wasn't with them though, was he? Who was the seven that went downstairs? Because it was Tanko, Gonta, Maki. Rantaro, wait, I gotta count these on my fingers, sorry, hold on. Tanko, Himiko, Rantaro, Gonta, Maki, Angie. Wait, shit, who was the seventh? Was the seventh Kaito? Oh, maybe it was. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna freaking check. Am I stu- nope. Am I stupid? Nope, not that one either. No, no, no! I'm gonna make sure I get this right. I'm, I'm gonna try and figure this shit out, man. Okay, blah, 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 blah. They went to the game room. Oh, it was Kaito. Damn it, I'm stupid. <laughs> Everyone in the comments can be like, What are you talking about, you dumb bitch? Uh, oh, me, oh, my. 
Tanjiro? What's wrong with him? You don't know? He's dead, idiot. Huh? What? He's dead? Oh, that's unfortunate. But how? How can he be so calm? Shuichi examined Rantaro's body and placed his hand close to his mouth to check for breathing. I like that the text box changed. It's no use. We're too late. He shook his head. No way. Too late? You mean dead? Are you serious? He's dead? Uh, sorry, Kaito. I don't know why I thought you didn't go downstairs with the rest of them. And I unreasonably suspected you. I apologize for that. Oh my god. It was, it's a brutal one, though. My vision began to swirl. My legs wobbled beneath me. Out of sheer desperation, I kept my mind working. Why was Rantaro here? And... Did he find the bookcase, too? Like... The monitor's off. He's no longer displaying Monokuma anymore. Well, yeah, because the killing game started. Obvi. Does that mean the mastermind is dead? No! Yeah, that has to be it. That means Rantaro was... I don't believe that for a second. Well... This means the killing game has started, huh? Huh? What? Killing game? That someone killed Rantaro and do, do you think he dropped dead of natural causes? Uh, Wait, maybe not. I don't get it. What do you mean, maybe not? Um, maybe the killing game hasn't started. Maybe this just ended it. What? Ended it? What do you mean? No, yes. there's obviously- there's somebody in the room. Probably. I'm not sure. But we saw the door closing by itself. Which, that could be a control from within the room, because obviously you'd have to have a control to move the bookcase in there, because otherwise if you went in and you left the goddamn bookcase open, everyone would know that there's a hidden door behind it. So I think there's somebody in there right now. The mastermind. Rantaro is the mastermind. Huh? The mastermind? Uh, um... I don't know how he died, but if Rantaro was in the library before the time limit ended... That's true. There's a high chance the mastermind planned this, and if he's dead... Ding dong, bing bong. That, that actually says ding dong, dong, ding, which is an entirely new combination that I wasn't prepared for. Huh? What? Yeah, here comes the body announcement, right? Oh, look at it. Look at all that sushi. Body has been discovered. Classy. Everyone, please gather in the library. All right, everyone watch that door. Whoever doesn't show up. Unless everyone shows up. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Hi. Excuse me, I'm theorizing. Oh, I'm glad. I, first of all, love the Monokumas on, on the side panels. Second of all, listen, um, it wouldn't surprise me if the hidden room has, like, passages to other parts of the school and we just, like, didn't find the rest of them, so I'm not gonna rule anyone out. But I do think someone was in there until probably just now. But I'm gonna, I, I, I hope someone keeps a watch on that fucking door. What a relief. A murder took place just before time ran out. Monokuma, but how? I gotta admit, I was a little nervous there because the killing game hadn't started yet. Jeez, you guys, wow, why why is it going by itself sometimes? You guys really know how to keep me in suspense. So that says, I don't know, weird. How, the master might, oh, I know why, because I'm accidentally hitting the trigger. I think that might be progressing the dialogue. The mastermind controlling you is, by mastermind, do you mean the real mastermind who's controlling me? And you think it was, why is that happening? Stupid. What an imagination. Of course that's wrong. Oh, I'm pu is it because I'm pushing circle? Is that skipping two lines of dialogue? I don't know. I just started pushing circle because that's where frickin' A is and I was playing Ace Attorney last night. If their mastermind had died, this killing game would be over. That's wrong. But, but... Hey. The victim was Rancero, Mommy, the ultimate who cares. Nothing more, nothing less. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh... Shuichi, what does he mean? What's gonna happen? Okay, but, you know, Monokuma, according to what you said, the person just gets to leave, right? No. He, Monokuma's wrong, isn't he? Isn't Rantaro the mastermind? Sit down, guys. Huh? Yeah, we came here as soon as the sensor went off, right? No, you talked to people in the freaking hallway for two minutes. No one else was in the library. Rantaro was the only one who could have moved the bookcase. Wouldn't that mean he was trying to use the hidden door and that he was the mastermind? The bookcase was closing. <laughs> I forgot how much I hate people don't immediately realize things in this game. No. My my mind is like 20 steps ahead, fam. This is why if I was in one of these killing games, I, I almost just said kill that, but, you know, that, that doesn't really work. But if he was the mastermind, why is the killing game not over? Uh, um... Why? Why is he dead? Because someone killed him. 
It's no use. No oh, good. I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't be because someone killed him. That that would be super. Uh, Shuichi? Oh, the pictures. We can check the pictures. I'm sure that the cameras we set up in the library will give us a clue. At that moment, the library door swung wide open. And everyone else is gonna pile in. Is that everyone? Wait, I wanna count. Same. Um. I wanna count everyone. Rantaro, but, but why? Really? That's Rantaro? Oh, thank god. I thought that was a pile of dirty rags. I see. So this ended up happening after all. My, my. What a world this is, so full of jokes like this. How? What? This is a lie, right? My dearest Rantaro is dead. Oh, I mean. <laughs> was killed! Uh, Stop it. That's the same thing. <laughs> How ironic. I know, you would say that, wouldn't you? The guy who wanted to live ended up dead, and the guy who wanted to die survived. Either way. So, can somebody explain the meaning of all this? I do think this is everyone. Nah, an explanation isn't necessary. Unbelievable. Thanks to the first blood perk, there won't be a class trial, so that'd just be a waste of time. Go ahead! With that said, if you're the black and two killed Rantaro, raise your hand. What? The one who killed Rantaro? Degenerate male. I knew it. A degenerate male killed Rantaro, didn't he? Wait. How you know boy do it? I won't forgive you. I just know, okay? Violent crimes are almost always committed by violent, disgusting men. Damn. That dumbass. How dare he go and get himself killed? Don't screw around. Who the hell did it? I'll freaking punch you into orbit. <laughs> Don't get so angry. Send off your graduating classmate with warm farewells. Who is it? Is that anybody? Oh, hi guys. Are you gonna appear on that shelf? Oh, thank God there's room for all of you. It's getting interesting. Or send them off with hostility like a bunch of catty popular girls. That's fine too. It's my time to shine. But if it's gonna disrupt the process, then we're gonna bust out the exesels. I, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I'm so used to pronouncing it that way now that I doubt it's gonna change. How gory! I'm not gonna look. I don't want to look at a nasty dead body. <laughs> Nothing beats crashing a funeral. It's way better than wedding crashing. Oh, he's got the tongue too, doesn't he? I'll throw out a wedding every now and then, but funerals are insane. Like fishing with dynamite. So whoever did this really gets to graduate, huh? Yeah. Heck yeah! I'm a real stickler for the rules. I'm also tough on convenience store clerks. My heart's racing. Then congratulations! Someone with the black kid who's about to graduate, please raise their hands. Who is it? Is no one gonna confess? What? No, no one's raising their hand? You bastards! Hey, did you hear me? All the black kid has to do to graduate is speak up, you know? Anyone? No one's stepping forward. What's going on? <laughs> I see how it is. The Blackened has no need for the first blood perk. They'd rather do a class trial. Of course they would, because this is a game. Oh, excuse me? Oh. Very well, then. Psycho pop! I will give the Blackened what they want and hold a class trial. Oh! Wow! It's getting interesting! Now this is a spicy twist. Hold on! Wait, what the heck's going on? Got it? Like we said before, we're gonna hold a class trial so you bastards can find Rantaro's killer. So? Get it right and only the blackened will be punished. But if you get it wrong... <laughs> simultaneous surgery, brain and knee, then brain surgery again. My heart's racing. Everyone besides the blackened will be punished. Everyone besides the blackened? Everyone? <sighs> this outcome is much worse. The culprit should have just stepped forward. <laughs> Thank you, Maki. The only one I agree with in this entire game. I feel like we vibe. But before we can hold the class trial, you gotta investigate first. If you don't investigate the murder, you won't be able to argue over who did it. Obvious. So you're saying we need to do the investigation ourselves too? Hmm? Of course, the investigation is what makes the killing game so good. You guys are gonna investigate the crime and uncover the truth. <laughs> Shuichi is triggered. <laughs> the black and handiwork has made this much more entertaining than I expected. Ding! All right, the trial will begin soon, so please give the investigation your all. Bye. So long. Farewell. Off we just said goodbye. 
the, the pictures. All right. Let's get going then. Wait. Where do we start? Don't you get it? We're looking for the truth of Rantaro's death, right? If we can't figure out who the culprit is, then we'll be annihilated for sure. Huh? I don't want to be annihilated. The girls should be allowed to live at least. Uh, uh, I'm just a cute, normal girl who can use magic, you know? Why you? You're the last person who should be calling herself cute. Then. Do not fret. Just imagine this is something out of a police drama or a detective manga. Do you agree? Right, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Right. Impossible! I'm in trouble. I've never watched police dramas or read detective manga. Let's see. Well, there's no need to think so hard. You need only converse with the corpse. A corpse is not simply a dead person. That is just an assumption made by the living. Is he gonna be our autopsy guy? Wonderful. By coming face to face with the corpse, you will learn a great many things. Ah! Why are you getting excited? You're not into dead bodies, are you? Actually. But is it true? Is one of us really the culprit? Hmm. The odds are one in 15. That shouldn't be hard to figure out. Don't screw around. That's not the problem here. On your knees. Who's the fucking culprit, huh? Is it you? Or maybe it's you. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who's the killer? Only a Tua knows. Weird. You know can choose that way. How exciting. Everyone's competing to see who's the most paranoid. Yeah, that's not boring. That's wrong. Wait, wait, stop. We can't do this. We can't go back and forth accusing each other. At least not yet. Save it for the courtroom. Uh, um... For now, we need to trust each other and start a serious investigation. Huh? Hey. We all lose our trust in one another because of this. It's all over. We have to believe in each other and investigate this case. Huh? Investigating is the same thing as not trusting each other. No. No, it's completely different from what Monokuma wants us to do. He wants us to throw accusations at one another and lose all trust in each other. But- And we can't let him get what he wants. We need to investigate this murder. Not because we don't trust each other, but because we do. Hell yeah. That was a nice speech. I guess think. You guys cool? Hmm. Uh, did I say something wrong? <laughs> you were just so direct and assertive. Uh, um... uh, no, I just said what was on my mind. Yeah. You really are a detective. Now that we need to investigate, you're becoming super reliable. All right. I agree with Shuichi. Actually, he just said exactly what I was going to say. I have a crush on him now. Uh, uh, uh. Males are degenerate creatures who betray others easily, but I'll trust you this time. The only good thing about males is that girls give birth to them. Girl, listen. <laughs> You're funny. Allow Gonta. Gonta not smart. Not sure Gonta be much help, but Gonta do his best for everyone. I... I will work hard with the Tua's guidance. I'm much happier alive than dead anyway. That's right. As novice investigators, logic dictates that we work together rather than give in to paranoia. I will do my best. If this is what everyone desires, then I shall give this task my all. Okay. Then leave it to me. I'll find the culprit in no time, and then I'll lie about who it is. <laughs> Even she was like, mm. I don't know. Well, I'm glad. No one's given up yet. Of course they haven't. I can't change what's already happened. All I can do is what must be done. Otherwise, Rantaro died for nothing. I cannot believe that he is the first one. I have to do it. I won't give up. But I'll escape from here. I'll make sure of it. Well then. So, let's get started. And we will get started in the next episode. Hopefully we'll start with some kind of autopsy. Like, we don't have a nurse any or anything this time, so I don't know who's going to be doing the autopsies, but I guess we'll figure it out in the next one. I'll see you then. Bye!